Hello. If you're a parent of a child, an infant, indeed, with hypospadias, you may be wondering if it is a good or appropriate course of action to attempt to have the hypospadias corrected in infancy. My own conclusion is probably no. Uh, starting from first principles, uh, the way they do it is to circumcise the infant and try to patch the hole. Hypospadias is where the penile raphe does not fuse all the way up the shaft of the penis, and there's a small slit on the uh, on the bottom side of the penis. And they will circumcise the infant and attempt to use the tissue to patch the hole. My opinion is that even at face value, you're trading one kind of mutilation for another, indeed worse kind. You don't actually get a complete penis out of it. You get another kind of mutilated penis that both had hypospadias and now has patched together dead to touch foreskin tissue patched over the hole with no regard to the neurology of the penis. I mean, keep in mind, as bad as a, a hypospadias situation may be, at least you have the full complement and, and exquisite nature of what fetal development was able to deliver that cannot be replicated. No amount of surgery is going to replicate the fine innervation of the penis and the foreskin, which is the most sensitive part of the penis to fine touch, is never going to be replicated. There are many men who live with hypospadias, it's just fine, they love their penises. There are many men who have had hypospadias corrected who are absolutely besides themselves. Being on this channel, people bring a lot of stories to me, and I have a story of a young man from the UK. He had hypospadias, and while the NHS is generally hostile to circumcision, they were enthusiastically promoting hypospadias correction. And they did it. And apparently the outcomes of these, cor these hypospadias corrections are so poor that every doctor's office visit for 15 years, they would stimulate and masturbate this poor kid in the doctor's office until at age 15 he slapped the fucking bastard upside the head and said, never again. The outcome is so poor they have to check that they didn't permanently destroy the neurology of the penis. This kid has moderate function, but it's, it's, it's inherent. He did not want to have his penis cut up as an infant. He is, he is beside himself. He's suicidal. And does anybody care about him? Is there anybody speaking on his behalf? This was 20 years ago. Perhaps the NHS has become even more hostile to the use of circumcision uh, for anything even since then. And I, reports I have it sort of indicate that, playing catch up with Central and Northern Europe in that regard. But I don't know what to tell you. You, you, hypospadias correction destroys the... You, you don't get back the exquisite, finely ordered neurology that at least fetal development was still able to give your son. And uh, instead, you get doctors masturbating and stimulating your child's penis every single year. Uh, well, I mean, until this kid just said he had enough. Uh, to, you know, to make sure it wasn't a total failure. I don't know what to say. Tell, tell me what you think in the comments section. Take care. Bye-bye.